Hello, my name is Scott. I want to show you that on this 2005 Chevy Duramax diesel, I've got it into the tractor mode, and I'm going to show you the stored codes in here. See, it's got the 202 injector number two, all right? And also, it shows number three, and then, of course, group uh, B2. This is a 2149 code. So we take a look at those. It shows a 202, P202 for two, P203 for number three, and then it shows the 2149 Group B supply voltage circuit open. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear those codes. So watch this. I'm going to clear those codes and then show you how I found it. In fact, it actually is uh, cylinder number one, I believe. It could be number two. So I'm going to go ahead and erase them and start the truck over again. Okay, now it's running okay. The truck's running fine. We go down here. This is our max. Put this glove on. Now over in here, the cylinder is one through number seven. Down in here, is cylinders one and three. And watch this. Listen. If I move these cables, down in here, there it goes. Now put it in the tractor mode. So that's the source of my problem right there. It could be number three, it could also be number one. But now that allows me to go in and investigate and pinpoint where I'm getting this uh, this fault and where I'm getting this shorting. Anyway, I thought I'd just thought I'd um, share this with everyone since I've been going through a lot of frustrations on why this intermittently happens. I've replaced probably uh, six of the uh, injector connectors, but it seems like every time I replace a connector, it's the wrong one. So the jiggle test which this is, seems to be quite effective. Thank you. Well, as it turns out, it is cylinder number one. It's interesting because the OBD2 sensor didn't identify cylinder number one, but when I jiggled cylinder one, and it was the one I haven't replaced, it's buried and it's down here. Here it is. You can see it down in there a little bit. Let me see if I get the camera in there. Oh, here it is. Yeah, right in there. There it is. There it is. That's got to come off and get replaced. That's the one I jiggled. It's been there forever since the original, and that's causing all the faults and causing this intermittent problem. Uh, it's interesting. The jiggle test identified that it was, in fact, this one and not all the others that the OBD2 sensor may be indicating. So that is key, is jiggle all these connectors before you start um, just guessing at which cylinder it is. Because I did the buzz out test through this components, pulled this connector, and did an ohm reading on all of the, um, the other bank of cylinders, and I got good readings on all the ohm tests for cylinders two through number eight. But it's um, apparently cylinder number one that I didn't uh, check, but, uh, and it's been the intermittent, intermittent problem. Anyway, thank you. All right, I got the unit repaired, put a new connector on it. You can see it kind of way down in there in that crack. There it is, way over in there. You can see it taped up everything, put everything back together, cleaned it up, resecured, and we're going to see that it fixed the problem.